Well, welcome back, everyone. It's Lights, Camera, Action, Make Up World Your Runway. You know this show interviews the most fascinating individuals from the world of modeling, pageantry, business, beauty, and even the entertainment industry. And today we have a very exciting guest in the studio. I cannot wait to interview him. But of course, we always have a few announcements that we like to make to all our viewers. And as always, we have a very exciting show planned. But remember to subscribe to the Global Trade Chamber YouTube channel so that you can see all the shows from Make Up World Your Runway and Success Stories. And I highly recommend our viewers to tune into Success Stories because you're going to hear some fascinating stories from women from not only the United States but from around the world that came from humble beginnings and worked themselves up to be some great entrepreneurs and doing some fascinating things in community service. So once again, from humble beginnings to successful entrepreneurs, these women will totally inspire you. And of course, we always want to tell you to get ready for some exciting conferences, speakers, and awards as 100 successful women in business and the Global Trade Chamber are going to come to a city near you. And one of the cities that we're going to come to you on June the 30th is going to be in Tampa, Florida. It's going to be at the Hilton, which is located near the airport. One show you do not want to miss. Tampa is a beautiful city. We got businesses coming in from all over, and it's a great way for you to showcase your business and also listen to some of the fantastic speakers that are going to be there. You never know how it's going to take your business to the next level. So once again, put that down. June 30th, Tampa, Florida, one show you do not want to miss. And of course, we're going to be calling all successful women in business because it's a time to shine a light on your achievements. Nominate yourself or a colleague for a chance to be honored at our special awards dinner gala in Las Vegas, October 23rd to the 26th. Let's come together to honor the impactful work of women in business. Remember to claim the well-deserved award. You need to be present in Las Vegas at the awards dinner gala to receive the award and we cannot wait to see you there because there's going to be networking, conferences, business expo, a fashion show, and Make Our World Your Runway is going to be there and it's your time to shine on a national television program. So remember the date, October 23rd to October 26th. Go to the website, www.100swb for all the details. Sign up today. It's going to be a sellout. Do not wait. And speaking of a sellout, one person that will be there is going to tell you all about the fascinating things that the Global Trade Chamber and 100 Successful Women have planned. I am so honored today to have in the studio the president of the Global Trade Chamber, Mr. Al Otero. Al, welcome to Make Our World Your Runway. Thank you, Ms. Angela. Always a pleasure to be with you and to uh, share ideas and opportunities for all of our viewers all over the world. We have a global platform, and that global platform is for you. We had a lady from India this morning. We had a lady from Dallas this morning and our success stories. We really are reaching the world, so good things ahead for everybody. Exactly, and you know, speaking of India, uh, I'm going to be judging a, a pageant uh, from India, the International Glamour Project. Wow. And of course, Dr. Akshat, Akshata Prabhu happens to be a 100 successful women in business That's recipient. Right. So you're right about it does connect the world. And that's yes. one thing it's done for my business. And most people would not know that how would a beauty pageant be involved with a chamber and 100 right. successful women in business. But you helped me start Miss Latina International, which grew into Miss International World. And by teaming up with the chamber and 100 successful women in business, I am totally global now. Yes, you are. It's a, it was a perfect match because your pageant then isn't just a pageant. Right. Your pageant is about empowering and helping young women to become successful entrepreneurs or leaders or heads of organizations, nonprofits, could be even uh, the Cancer Society. So your organization, what is it doing? It's helping young women. Exactly, it's exactly. It's a beautiful thing. It is a beautiful thing. and and. One of the things about some of the ladies that have gone from my organization to these trade shows, they have gotten a wealth of information, okay? Uh, I've had a couple of girls that, uh, the last show that we that we had in Miami, yes. it was a cosmetic company there, and they asked them to, to be a spokesmodel. And now they're getting products, they're being a spokesmodel. Imagine. So they're taking their platforms to a whole nother level. So That's perfect. 
Yeah, it is. It, it, it's absolutely amazing. That's why I highly recommend to all our viewers that they need to be involved with this type of program. Yeah, the beauty about the Global Trade Chamber is that we're a business organization. Right. And we are a global business organization. And by the way, we're celebrating our 15 years as a chamber, which is a tremendous milestone. Exactly. So at this activities, whether it's a conference, an expo, uh, a lot of activities that we do, we have people that are experts in the industries come. So they empower, inspire, and teach all of the people that exactly. come, your young women, uh, new entrepreneurs, ladies that are looking to get into business, they come, they learn from the experts, right. they connect to other women, where you're gonna find amazing women from all over the world in one location. It doesn't exist. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. It, it, it's, it's fantastic. And as a matter of fact, I was looking to hire a marketing company and through one of the conferences that I did attend, that because I, I go in, I love to hear the speakers. Yes. Chatterbox, Chatterbox, oh, yeah. I should say. Yeah. yeah, I've been working with them, and now I'm going to bring them on as my marketing company. Beautiful. But if I was not at one of your shows, that's right. Okay, I would not know. I'd be out there fishing for a marketing company, and here it was. It just fell on my lap, like you know they say, you get something on a silver platter. Well, that's exactly what happened. That's it, and the testimonies are endless. We have people. Uh, one of our guests this morning at uh, Success Stories was uh, Bazelle. She's one yes. of our speakers. She goes everywhere with us. Right. And she told us it's because of the environment that you create. You have created a unique environment where people actually build relationships, they become friends, right. and how much easier it is to do business with somebody that you're friends with. You're fr exactly. She loves it. So she's got from the beginning when she started with us to now, all of these people from the different cities she's been with, they are all her friends now and they stay in touch and follow each other around the country. Exactly. Unbelievable. It, it, it's, happened, it's happened to me. Phenomenal. I mean, when I was just at an event, and I, because I was in volume one of the 100 yes. Most Successful Women in Business book, and I did a book signing, I could not believe all the people that were coming up Amazing. and wanted a copy of the book. And through that now, I'm getting designers, I'm hmm. getting entertainers that are calling me. I mean, just last night, somebody that I had not heard from in about three years called me up and said, I'd love to be part of your show again. I've got new entertainment. I've got new programs. I see you with the, the Chamber, 100 yeah. Successful Women in yeah. Business. I was like, all of a sudden, and I have to bring this up, I cannot totally mention the TV network Mm -hmm. But the Global Trade Chamber gave me an opportunity to be on a network yep. where now the clips are coming out, and it was about a girl who didn't think she could do a pageant. Imagine. And did a pageant. So my motto is now, if you want to be part of this, sign up today. Yep. You'll get these opportunities. If you don't, you'll miss out. You're going to miss out. You're exactly. Miss out. Exactly. exactly. We have a, a, a great momentum going. We, like they said this morning, the girls, they said, we have a sisterhood. That's right. And where can you say that you are building a sisterhood of like-minded women in business? That's right. That empower, inspire, and help each other. You go to any event, Angela, we've been going to events for forever. Years. You go to an event, you go to a business expo, and what happens? You walk around fast because everybody's rushing. You have no time to get to know the people. Very you true. have no relationships that you can build. We talked about that this morning. And on top of that, there's nothing after the event. No, it's not. You go, and that's it. That's the end. W with our events, it's momentum that keeps going all year. Yeah. Whether it's online interviews, whether it's another event, whether it's news on the magazine that we have, it is a perpetual activities right. that you always connect. Exactly. Always connecting. Exactly. And when one of my contacts heard that I was going to Las Vegas, mm. she just sent me like six uh, companies but she said, I know they'll sponsor this event. Imagine. And I'm going to be calling them up. And that's a great way to get them on the show ahead of time so that we can start advertising Las Vegas in a big way. That's right. And I just recently did a podcast that's, you know, all around about pageantry. And they asked me what, you know, was one of my successes. And I said, well, I said, I held up the book, 100 ah. Successful Women in Business. And I said, that's my success. I said, and that is one of the reasons why you should join this international world, because you will have this opportunity to be involved That's with the right. chamber and, of course, 100 successful women in business, which most other companies are not doing. There's no okay. pageant out there that does that. Well, there's no pageant that takes the personal touch with the girls. 
Right. They're, they're more worried about the numbers and the money right. than developing and building a relationship that the girls are happy, comfortable, and feel safe. Exactly. You have that, that is right. That is so needed right now. It, it is. It's so needed. And one of the things that I want to do is when we first started was bring back that scholarship program. That's right. Because Nova South is Nova Southeastern University. That was amazing. It was forty thousand for the Miz and forty thousand for the team. Eighty thousand dollars. So amazing. Scholarship. Incredible. Money. Now it didn't pay for all their schooling, but, but at least they had ten thousand a year. a big help for four years. A very big help very, because very college help. today is very expensive. But anyway, I know the, the chamber has other programs, loans. Oh yes, we are. For years, we've been talking to people that they want to grow their business, or they want to expand, or they want to buy more equipment, and they're having a real difficult time because they don't have all the qualifications that the regular institutions have. Right. So they turn it down. They turn down maybe 80% of the applicants. So where do these people go? So we have to create our own uh, chamber business funding program that's very flexible less requirements and faster turnaround that they get funded quickly exactly so we're meeting the needs of the community that's what we need to do today because nobody else is helping this no business. no one else is helping because you no. go to a bank and get turned down and they don't no. have the time or the resources to take it a step further but this yep. is something and also you've helped a lot of businesses overseas come into this country here and have been able to start satellite companies right. or even put their corporate offices here in the States. Sure. Yeah, we have had, through the business center here in uh, Sunrise, Florida, we have right. virtual offices, we have physical offices, we have people that come and start their business here with an office, and when they grow, they go and get a big warehouse or a bigger place. So this is a launching pad for a lot of businesses, local, but also from other countries. Exactly, exactly. So that's uh, exciting. And now we have the TV shows. That's right, our the studio. TV shows. Exactly. Podcast, Make Our World Your Runway. I know another lady has a show. So yes. I highly recommend to everyone, if you want to get your voice out there, definitely do what I'm doing. Yeah, it's a video podcast, show. which is uh, can be done from their home anywhere in the world. Right. And we do all the production, all the uh, editing, and now they have a show that you can put anywhere. So that's, that's right. beautiful. And then we started also um, the Academy for Kids I for the Summer. I was going to bring that up, yes, the Academy. Yeah. That is great because a lot of times parents, even if they have to work in the summer, they don't know where to have their children go. They don't this know. is a great educational tool for the children that's right. because they can learn about modeling, they can learn about uh, business, music, business, yeah. and it's great. You know, they on M MSNBC this morning, they just had an article about that. How to wow. start children at a very young age, exactly. learning about business, bank accounts, where to put their money. Perfect. I mean, it's, it's unbelievable. Okay, yeah. there was one, uh, there was one kid that had decided not just to do a lemonade stand, but had a hot dog and a lemonade stand. Imagine. Eleven year old, and they asked They're him, "What are you going to do with the money?" He says, "I'm thinking of my retirement." <laughs> <laughs> I said, "Thinking of retirement that at eleven years old." But that's a great way to teach of these course, kids of because if this kid, this is a little entrepreneur. Can you that's imagine it? if he starts saving now? Oh, what he'll have when he gets it. to forget say 20, 25, 30 years old? He'll be, be all set. set. Yeah, and that's the way to go because corporate life. I mean, it's great, but it's not what it was years ago. No, nothing. Everything's different. Everything is different. We have education. We're very involved with several colleges. Yes, you do. And. Uh, People think that they can start a business without a college education. Yes, you can. But if you don't have the training from right. college for doing the books, all the mark, all the technical things that you learn in college, right. even being an entrepreneur, you may not succeed because you don't have all that training. That's right. It's not as simple as opening up a door and waiting for the clients to come in. It doesn't work that way. And there's another area too. and. My husband, Al, of course, he always said by going in the United States Air Force, he got his college degree there. That's right. He learned everything. He got. He yep. always says, I got my education through the Air Force, and he learned telecommunications. That's how he was able to work for cable and wireless and able to work for MCI. And, of course, our current reigning Miss International World who went into the Air Force, she got her training there. That's how she became an amazing journalist That's right. and became the youngest journalist to the U.S. Pentagon. That's so it. you're right. Education, no matter it's whether you very you come here 
or a lot of people that join the service, mm -hmm. this where you get your and you set your career goal. Yeah, so you have to have a foundation. That's the key to that's everything. It. You have to have. And a that's foundation. where the pageant comes in, and the pageant inspires and motivates these girls to be knowledgeable, knowledgeable, to learn yeah. from the experts, to go to school, to get degrees. So your pageant isn't about pushing girls through, and then they come out the same way they came in. That no. doesn't happen. You make them women. Exactly. That well, that's our goal. That's is, the goal. Is to empower them through that that's crown. It. You know, they, anybody can just put a crown on their head and a sash, but it's how you empower them. We always say we're a pageant with purpose, and our uh, new statement actually is, is that see why our crown has been a success for so many women around the world. That's right. Because we don't only have women here. We have women in India. Take, for instance, Ekshata. She's yes. a doctor. She's a dentist. She has the International Glamour Project. Oh. She's she's now going back to speaking around the world right. on women's empowerment. Yeah. Okay, her husband Swarup, he's also a doctor. He's an entrepreneur. So they're doing some wonderful things, and having this pageant, they're able to take a lot of women that they have. It gives in their them country, a platform. Gives them a platform. That's right. We have a, a gentleman in Uruguay that's doing the same thing. He opened the modeling school. Imagine. Okay, so through us, okay. They're getting very inspired, and they're doing a lot of things, a lot. which are great. Where women now are just not coming out and saying, I'm, it's great to be a model, but they're not just coming out being a model. They have a platform and going into some type of education as yeah, well. Yeah, because they're, being, they're smarter now. And they know that when they finish their pageant life, there has to be something waiting for them. Right. And if they don't start preparing for it now. Exactly. How are they going to start? So That's right. It's the same as uh, college. Oh yeah. Kids wait till they graduate from college to look for a job, and that it's too late. It's too late. You have to start when you're out of high school. You have to do internships. You have to build relationships. Right. All through college. So by the time you get out of college, you have connections. You have relationships. That's right. And the same thing at the pageant. You start your pageant life, but in the process, you're building your future. Exactly. You build. And that's a smart. That's, that's a, a smart. That's a smart way to go. Yeah. And in anything that you want to do, anything. you have to have a foundation. Like you said, do internships. And something you've always said: if you're not networking, you're not working. You're not working because you. I don't care how much you do on the internet, on the web, right? Through social media, you have to do that those personal does relationships. not. That's not enough. There has to be that personal relationship built at some point. Right. So it's a combination. Obviously, all the technology is going to help you, but if you don't have a way to meet people in person, build a relationship, and then support it with all the social media and all the technology, it's not enough. No, it's not enough. You <laughs> And you never know where your next connection is going to be. No, like I told you, people thought it was funny when I sent out to the airport and I said, you'd be surprised because once before he had gotten a sale from there. Amazing. And it went down to where the, the baggage claim area was. Mm. And some gentleman said, I need a car ASAP. Handed out a car. The guy came in the next day and bought a car. That's amazing. So you, if you're not out there. Oh, you have you to be out of the box. You have to be proactive. Exactly. You could be in a supermarket and get your next client there. You strike up a conversation. You know, I find that All when, the I'm, time. when I'm out, uh, hello, how are you? Yep. Oh, I love that sweater you're yes, wearing, or whatever. Yes. I come up with something. And before I know it, I'm exchanging cards with That's somebody right. because That's I'm right. finding out that they want to get into something and they don't know how. So this is an excellent opportunity to join the chamber. That's okay, right. Because we're going to make it easier for you. Right. Because we'll you've got you all the, the resources. That's right. Online and in person. Even online, if you're in a networking activity online, you're still meeting the person face to face that's it and you're still building the relationship that's right so it's not just sending an email posting something and waiting for the world to happen it's not going to happen <laughs> i always that's say it's not going to happen reminds me of the roman empire they were so big because they just walked into countries and took over yeah. okay but they did have the resources they're the ones that actually started the idea of the Senate in Congress, but they had the resources of course they did. to go to educate people. Yes. Okay, yep. that's why they were so powerful. If you look it up, they reigned for over a thousand Imagine. years. I'm like a thousand years. That's, <laughs> that's, a, that's a long time. That's a long time to reign. Time. But they, that's why they were called the Roman Empire. It was an empire. It was an empire. It was an empire. Oh, I wish those days would come back. <laughs> I know. Be simpler.
Yeah, it was simpler. Even though they had an emperor, it was still simpler. It was simpler. So, so we, go, uh, we go forward from here. That's right. And your pageant is uh, back on a cruise. Yep, back on Margaritaville at sea. Amazing. Okay, it's going to be October 4th through the 8th, five days, four nights. Wow. One stop, Cozumel, Mexico, and on the new ship, the Islander. So that's a week's vacation. That Oh, yeah. Plan Anybody your that vacation. Goes on, that's a week's vacation. Okay? Plan your vacation. A beautiful and ship. That's right. And this year we're going to say presented by the Global Trade Chamber and 100 Successful Women in Business presents the Miss International World Pageant. beautiful. I Hosted love it. by Margarita Villancy. Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah. So you're doing things that you're an innovator, you're changing the way that pageants work. That's right. And you're building people's lives, which is really all this is all about. Well, that's just it. I mean, if people are going to come into an organization, you have to give them something that... Uh, you know, I always say there's big prize packages, but you have to give them something more than that. When they walk away from there, okay, what did I get out of it? And what I tell every one of the girls that comes into the pageant is that you are all winners. Yep. Yeah, we have not, out of 30 girls, you, there's nine titles, but you're all winners, okay? And even girls that crown the next successor, I tell them that title is for life. That's right. You don't give up that, that's why we don't put yous on the banner. Because if one girl can't make it, I could always call up another sure. one. We just had that a few weeks ago. I know. Where our current reigning girl was in Maryland, and I called up our Miss International World that's here in Miami. I said, can you make it? She said, I'll be there with bells on. So we still had a Miss International that's World. That's I love it. And love without it. a year on a banner, no one knows. That's right. That's perfect. What a concept. Yep. And, you know, through all your teachings, I'm now becoming a 5013C. And like you Very even important. said, that's a great way because now we can get more sponsors. And it, it's believable. It shows that there's more credibility to the organization. Yeah, you're and serving. I know that's, you're serving. I know that's one of the things that the chamber has services. As you've even talked about grants, yes. and becoming a, a nonprofit. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, because uh, a lot of companies now, if you're not a nonprofit, they don't want to sponsor because it's exactly. harder to write it off. Right. So that's uh, and they say that you're actually helping the community. So the the nonprofit. A division of any company is very important today. Foundations. A lot of successful people and companies have foundations now where they are actually giving back to the community it, and they and they grow. Exactly. We just partnered with the North Beach Art and, uh, Gallery and Charity for the last event that we did. And they are a 5013C and we were able to support women's empowerment and at the Beautiful. same time local artists who are trying to be up and coming and get their paintings we supported them as well to be known was, yeah and it was an excellent turnout so we were able to get a lot of donations for the That's fact that we perfect. partnered with a 5013c and, yep. and north beach art charity has been one of our biggest supporters wow okay and now we're going to have uh lasky architect who's going to be one of our sponsors going forward here wow. so we're hoping to get a lot more and do a lot more for the community. Yep. So we have a lot of things that we're going to be doing together. Exactly. Uh, and we're going to be, I mean, just going crazy in Las Vegas. Everybody wants to go to Las Vegas. Oh, everybody. I've got, I'm doing a yep. call this afternoon. A friend of mine that says, I need more information. I said, right. I will give That's it to right. you. So, so we're going to have a great time. Exactly. You don't want to miss this because if you want to connect, Exactly. Learn from the experts. And this company in London called me this morning and said, I want to showcase my company and products to the world. And I want to be in Las Vegas. She called us from well, London. Well, here is a funny thing. Amazing. The Miss England organization got in touch with me and said, Vegas? We want to send our girl to Vegas. I said, how about Vegas. sending a girl in my pageant? Oh, okay. That's Where do it. I sign up? See? So they That's saw it. that. And they saw that I'm involved with it. And That's I it. even put it out as a prize package. I said, oh, if you I like want it. a model in Las Vegas, then you need to join us. That's right. I said, because if you're interested and you do, then we want to hear from you. Yep. So it's going to be a spectacular opportunity. I even have girls coming to the Tampa show that want to talk to me yeah. about, yeah. you know, uh, getting involved. So it's, 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 the road shows are an excellent opportunity. It is. It is. It yeah. is. It's an endless opportunity for them. That's right. And with the pageant world being so crowded, you have to think out of the box. So this is a way to talk to women, talk to people and say, hey, you know, I've got this great opportunity. We're all connected together. Oh, okay. You know what? I want to give this a chance. That's right. And a lot of women that give it a chance for the first time usually wind up winning. That's because they exactly. see the benefit and the potential. Right. So they don't think twice about it. So anyway, any closing remarks you want to talk to our viewers about? 
Yeah, you have two choices in life. Either you get involved and you grow, or you stay home and wait for the world to end. Yeah, that, if, I love it, okay? And in closing, I also like to say, promise what you deliver and deliver what you promise. 100%. Uh, yeah, and you will never be sorry. And if you don't think you can promise it, say, look, I'll give it my best shot, but I'm going to try and always come up with an alternative. You only get one chance of life to make a good impression. If you don't keep your word, you're dead. It's over. Yeah, that's true. That's but it. I always say, even when I'm dead, I'm still going to be doing something. So I'm just going from one end are. to the other. Yeah, exactly. I'm going to be tap dancing on my way out. That's and, it. And wherever I am, We're whether I'm on a cloud it. playing a harp or I'm down there shoveling, <laughs> I'm going to be doing something. But anyway, it was a pleasure to have you on our show. It's always an honor. And ladies and gentlemen, you heard it first here on Make Our World Your Runway. And as I like to say, stay tuned every week because there's always a fantastic guest, always something that you can learn. And we thank you so much for being part of this segment. So once again, thank you, and we'll see you next time. See you soon.